in the bustling streets of Lagos, amidst the vibrant markets and rhythmic beats of Afrobeats, there existed a young woman named Aisha who was captivated by the concept of possibility. She believed that every corner turned, every decision made, unlocked a new realm of what could be. Aisha was an inventor at heart, spending most of her days tinkering with discarded electronics in her small workshop, breathing new life into devices others deemed useless. One day, while sifting through a pile of old foam parts, she stumbled upon an unusual component, a tiny, gleaming chip with potential beyond its humble appearance. Intrigued, Aisha decided to experiment with the chip, connecting it to an array of sensors and a solar-powered battery. As she worked, the sounds of Lagos swirled around her, hawkers calling out their wares, the hum of generators, and distant laughter from children playing football in the streets. The creation, which Aisha dubbed Matama, after a neighborhood in Abuja known for its innovation, began to take shape. It was a device capable of predicting micro-changes in weather patterns, potentially revolutionizing agriculture in Nigeria's diverse climatic zones. Word of Matama spread quickly through Lagos tech circles. Entrepreneurs and farmers alike showed interest, seeing the possibility of improved crop yields and better planning. Against Nigeria sometimes, harsh weather conditions, Aisha's invention attracted attention from a local agritech startup, which proposed a partnership to scale Matama's production. The collaboration would bring the device to markets across West Africa, turning Aisha's tinkering into a tool for regional resilience. As Orisha stood in her now busy workshop, she smiled at the thought, possibility wasn't just a concept, it was a pathway to transforming tomorrow. With Matama, the future of farming in Nigeria looked brighter, embodying the power of innovation born on the streets of Lagos.